seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> Good day YouTube, Down to Bricks here and it's action figure time again, so very exciting. I've got boxes of goodies here, the main thing is I got my loot crate from Big Bad Toy Store. So in my last haul and showcase, it was almost half an hour long, so I want to go through this portion of the video a little bit quicker this time so we can spend more time on the showcase and hopefully we can make it a little bit of a shorter video. So first up, I got this invisible figure. <laughs> A mate of mine that I work with had some time off work. He came back. He said, I know you love your action figures. So I got you this figure and it is Ronan. So only my second ever Legends, Marvel Legends figure. Now, I was absolutely blown away by this because it's actually a figure I've been looking at picking up. So when he got it for me, I was very appreciative of that. And I held off for a while because... Yes, it's not a great action figure. It does have some flaws. I watched plenty of reviews on it, but it certainly has the look, and I'm a big fan of the Ronin character, so we'll have a closer look at that in the showcase. Got this box here. This is from Nippon Yasin, so let's see what is inside of it. Let's get it out. It's in a little bit of paper there, and we got... Princess Leia. So was really looking forward to this one. So I can't wait to rip this out of the packet to go with the rest of my Star Wars characters from SH Figure Arts. So let's just put that back in the box for now and let's get into the big beautiful box that is Big Bad Toy Store Loot Crate. Now I've got a few figures in here from a line, it's the first time I've got figures and I've gone all out and got three of them and they're all in here and if I'm loving them, I'm going to be picking up more I reckon. So let's chuck this on the ground and see what we have. Oh crikey, can't get into it. Alright, let's start with, well let's start with that, what that figure is and it is Mythic Legion. So heard so many good things about these figures I had to give them a go I just absolutely love the look of them this wasn't actually one I had pre-ordered all the others here the other two I had pre-ordered when I went to get it shipped out I actually added this one to my loot crate and this is I don't know what I can't remember this is the Black Knight oh, I mean they just look great they're actually a bit bigger than what I was expecting them to be but wow that does look really cool. So, can't wait to open these up. And we have Delphi Delphina. Delphina, something like that. Delphina of Etheros. So, just love that knight look. That is just a fantastic looking figure, isn't it? Wow, there is some beautiful detail on that. This gets me really excited. I love testing out new lines of action figures. So, very keen to get into that. Let's see if I can find the third one. It's, it looks like it's... Oh, no. Here it is. It was a bit buried, but it's in a much bigger box. Woohoo! Check that out. Look at the accessories we get there. Holy dooly. Man, that is just loaded. So, this is the Deluxe Knight Legion Builder. Holy dooly. Look at that. Wow, man, those paint apps are absolutely beautiful. It's, I don't know if you can see that through the packaging. Man, that is just packed full of goodness. Wow, man, I can't wait to get into these. Uh, let's just keep going. We'll just try and rip through this a bit quicker. I think I had one of these in my last haul. It was a Crash Bandicoot. And we've got another one. This is the Scuba. No, it's not the scuba, it's a jetpack. Sorry. I had to pre-order that scuba one. I've got him on pre-order. This is a jetpack. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, awesome. Okay, the wife's going to be happy with that one. Let's put that to that side. And okay, I've got two more to go through. And it's two more Mezcos. I'm going to leave the big one to last. But check this out. 
Oh, almost dropped it. I've got King Kong. And yes, yeah, not a figure I was expecting to pick up, but I love King Kong, so why not? Why not pick it up? And I think they've done a great job with this. I, I love these face sculpts. You, I oh know, you're going to see in there. Look at that. Wow. But we will get a closer look in the showcase part of the haul that we do here. And the last one. Now, a lot of people are going to go, what? Why did you bother getting that? Everyone reckons it's trash. Well, I want to find out for myself. Yes, it's an expensive way of finding out, but I got the Mezco Hulk, the Gladiator Hulk. And I know a lot of people are disappointed with it. And I think one of the main sticking points is the articulation. And look, quite honestly, I'm not a big posing figure. I'm not posing, taking lots of photos. As long as I can get a few cool poses out of it and it looks good on display, I'm happy with the figure. I, of course, I do like good articulation. I've got the Figure Arts Hulk that has the Infinity War Hulk that has awesome articulation. So if I want a Hulk with good articulation, I can always fall back on that. But I just want this one to look really good. So the thing that gets me more nervous is the green colors and, and the different greens throughout the action figure. So that does have me concerned, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I spent my money. I actually spent a little bit more on this guy because I did get it from Big Bad Toy Store. So if I had a waited and picked it up in Australia here, I probably could have paid a bit less for it than what I did. But then it does take two to three months for the Mezco figures. Once they release in the States, it takes another two to three months before they come out in Australia here normally. So I didn't really want to wait. I have got the Thor coming from in Australia, so I'm going to have to wait for that one. I couldn't wait for the Hulk. I had to find out for myself, and we'll find out in the showcase. Let's go. Again, I think there is a fantastic lineup here. Let's get the monkey off my back, and we'll talk about the Mezco Hulk. So my thoughts are... It's a great figure. I absolutely love it. Does it have its problems? Yes, it definitely does. You're not going to find me hating on figures here. I just want to talk about what I think, and I love it. As I said, it does have its problems. Does it cost too much? Yes. Did they mess up with the green shadings through the Hulk? Yes, they did. But all in all, I still think it's a great figure. As for the articulation, I've managed to get it in some cool poses, enough to satisfy me. But when it comes down to the sculpt and the paint, I think they did a fantastic job. And we will take a closer look at him, and we will put him next to the SHF Infinity War Hulk. And just before we go in for a closer look, the Mythic Legions figures, I absolutely love them. They are fantastic. Again, I do have a couple of issues with them, but overall, they are truly amazing. But let's go in and have a closer look. So we'll start with the Crash Bandicoot, the Jetpack Crash from NECA. Being my third figure now, there's nothing sort of new, too new to me with this figure. They're just a nice, solid figure. Look good. Great paint apps. And again, the, the ankles, I do have trouble with them standing up. This one seems to be a little bit more balanced, maybe because of the jet pack. Actually balancing out that big head. <laughs> he seems to be standing up just fine. And here is our Marvel Select Ronan. And the detail is fantastic, but I can certainly see what the problems are with this guy with this headpiece being all one mould attached to the head. The whole lot just turns whenever you, you move the head. So it definitely has its flaws, but as for the face and the paint apps, pretty good. And our Mythic Legions. They're just truly amazing just look at these guys <laughs> so our Templar Knight this is definitely my favorite I absolutely love this the silver paint the silver and gold with the red it just absolutely beautiful great accessories we get some more accessories here we get the quiver and a arrow and we do get 
this face sculpt, which is quite nice. I do like this. I do want to try and use this somehow. I do have a sprue mark on the front hairpiece just there, which is a little bit disappointing. And we just have our standard Legion builder here. And I have given him an axe out of the accessories from the deluxe figure, but he does come with a spear and a helmet and he has that sword and he does have another sword which I think I've got in the accessory pack. Let's bring in that accessory pack because it is something to behold. So there is a tray of accessories. Yes, that's the sword. That shouldn't be in there. That should be with the Legion Builder. But have a look at all these accessories you get. But that's not all. Hang on a second. Check this out. Holy dooly, you get more again. Look at this. We get more helmet pieces. You get three extra heads or helmets. A whole new torso piece. There's just so much. You can really change this figure up so much. I'm so tempted just to get another one. I'm actually going to order some more Legion Builder Knights, and just so I can deck them out with some of these accessories, but they are fantastic. A negative for me with these guys is it's not in this body mold, which I think is from the first series, it's in this one here, the ankles. They are a little bit hard to stand up. If you get them in a more dynamic pose, I guess like Delfina here, she stands up quite well, but if you just want them to be standing straight up, I'm having a lot of trouble with this one, and you can see I've got a necker base there just to help stand it up. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I guess I'm just going to have to put her in a more dynamic pose. But let's keep moving along. We have Leia here, and this is a great figure. Again, if uh, I'll start with a negative, I guess, is uh, I would have liked to see a more expressive face come with her as well, like we get. It's pretty just plain Jane looking face there, and this one's not too much different, just with the eyes looking off to the side. But check that out. I mean, that is awesome, isn't it? I'm so happy to have her to add to my Star Wars shelf. Been waiting a long time for the princess. We do get a Stormtrooper blaster here and we get the hood piece that's down as well. But I've currently got the other one on her. But yeah, all in all, I'm very happy. And the big man, the big man. And here we have him next to the Infinity War Hulk. And you can see really see the difference in the greens here and definitely figure out it's got the better green if we have a look at that face I would have loved to see that green all over the body but look at that face look in the mouth I mean how can you not say that that's good it's bloody amazing to me so yeah I'm, I'm overall I'm very happy with this figure look at the details on the weapons with the rust and everything I mean, there's a lot of good things about this figure. So the people that just want to trash it for the negatives are forgetting about that it does have a lot of positives as well. So that's my thoughts anyway, for what they're worth. And overall, I'm super happy with this lineup. Well, I was a doofus. I missed one from the lineup. Of course, it's Kong. I missed him because I've been enjoying this figure so much. I actually had him sitting next to my TV <laughs> inside the house. But, yeah, this guy is really cool. Great sculpt. Got some very nice accessories as well, which I haven't got out here, but I'll put some pictures up and show off those accessories. But, yeah, the the face check that out how cool is that another great figure from Mezco highly recommend this guy 
And he's actually pretty good value, I think, too. But yeah, just a lot of fun. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this action figure haul and showcase as much as I did bringing it to you. Let me know your thoughts on any of these figures in the comments below. And I'd love to hear what action figures you have added to your collection. So let me know that as well. And remember, you can find me on Instagram at Down Under Bricks. But a big thank you for taking the time to watch. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.